this is the message that I was also waiting for when I hear from God. Let's read from Genesis. Genesis. We read from verse 1 to 5. Chapter. Chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1. Genesis. In the beginning, God, Elohim, created by forming from nothing the heavens and the earth. The earth was formless and void, or a waste and emptiness and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was moving over the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. God saw that the light was good, pleasing and useful, and he affirmed and sustained it. And God separated the light from the darkness, and God called the light day, and darkness he called it night. And there was evening, and there was morning, which was one day. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. I want to say uh, I was meditating about this. Sometimes I ask myself questions. Why uh, we have Genesis 1? Where it talks about in the beginning. If you can read there, you see that we, we understand what happened in the beginning. The Spirit of God was there. And God was above. But down here was darkness everywhere. So, when we have read, you could see that God spoke a word. And when he speaks, he say, let there be light. And the light came. So I was trying to ask myself, why today we are becoming more different with our Creator? So today I want to speak about that our words from now will always come to pass. Our words must come to pass. You must speak things from now. And like our God the Father, we see them happening. This is what I want to talk about. Because if you can see what God did, and especially on verse 3, you hear that the Spirit of God was there. And God spoke. So what we need is the Spirit of God to be there. When we speak, we will create a situation. And the Bible says in verse 3, And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And the Bible says that we are created in His image. There is no difference with us and God if we are Christian. Because it's God who fills us and is in us. The moment we found that God and us become one by the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit in us, when we speak things, they will happen. In fact, after this service, I want every one of you to check your ways so that you must not just speak. Either you can speak, you find you are creating mountains. That will make you to suffer to climb again. Or bring problems in your life. Look when God speaks, He said, Let there be light. 
and the light came. The Bible says we are made in the same smaltitude. Smaltitude with him. We are in the position that when we speak things, we must see them happening. And what is the reason why today we don't see things happening? But let's look at James 3. If we read verse 1 to 5, James 3 from verse 1. 3, 1 to 5. James 3. I want us to look there. 3 from verse 1. It says, Not many of you should become teachers, my brothers and sisters. For you know that we, are, we who are teachers will be judged by a higher standard. Are you see the verse there? Verse 2. For we all stumble and sin in many ways. If anyone does not stumble in what he says, he is a perfect man. Can you see that verse there? It says, our problems is what we say. And if we don't stumble on what we say, we say something and we do another. If we say something and we do it, we are perfect people. Remember, our God is perfect. So now we are in a position like of God. Let me read that verse and finish verse 2. We all stumble and sin in many ways. If anyone does not stumble in what he says, he is a perfect man, fully developed in character without serious flaws. You know when the Bible says serious flaws, it means that everybody is having flaws. There's some flaws. You cannot live with people without flaws. You cannot live with people without flaws. So now here the Bible says serious flaws. Serious flaws. You can see there. Okay, look at this one. It says uh, able to bridle his whole body and raise his entire nature. In other words, the tongue that we use or the words we speak can really affect the whole body. And we found that the perfection that was searched for our friends is no longer existing. This is the mistakes where when we speak things, we find that nothing is happening. We are not becoming perfect where we can bring out what is perfect. The light that was produced by God was perfect. No one can change it. What is perfect? No man can change it. We need to reach a level that when we speak ways, we understand that they will come to pass. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Can you read James 3 verse 10? The Bible shows us how we can speak there. It shows that we must speak in a manner of reflecting that we, we fear God. Speak in a manner of showing that you fear God and with profound respects and his precepts. We need to speak in a manner. In other words, when you speak, it's according to his will. Let me try to say that a man that is favored by God will also speak when he's permitted to speak. Because many things that we are speaking, they even beg first to us, that's why we change all the time. 
Sometimes we can speak that it will rain and it Na does not rain. We were supposed to be speaking things and people see it happen. When Paul spoke with Timothy in 1 Timothy 6, can we read verse 20? He said, Oh Timothy, keep safe. What has been deposited in you. The truth that was entrusted in you. Turn away from worldly and godless chatter. And the contradiction of what is falsely called knowledge. In other words, there are some things that the world affirm them. But before God, it makes us to miss the mark. According to faith, that thing is not existing. Maybe that's why Paul was very much educated. He will say you will preach Jesus with an understanding to very low to make everybody to understand Jesus. So that so that his preaching must not be in we must not be having glory in speeches. But in the power of the Holy Spirit. If we can see, Paul was telling Timothy, he said, oh, Timothy, Timothy. There's a mark of faith. What to mean? That many people miss. Is then when they consider something called knowledge. And you find that they are not profitable on the side of faith. They can speak things that does not produce anything. Listen, we are, we are created to create by our weights. We are created and established to bring forth what God wants to bring here. I want to tell you that your problem today is not a witch and wizard, it's, it's you. A problem because some of them you found them. You were not you never chose to be born in that family. But there's a solution of that problem that you can get out from that problem by speaking when God won't permit you. By speaking when God wants you to speak. I don't know if you're hearing that. You can bring forth the reasons that are needed. Tell your say, I want to speak things that will come to pass. Look at Proverbs 18.21. Death and lives are in the power of the tongue. We love to talk that, but the second struggle of that verse is important. It says, those who love, who love it and indulge it will eat its fruit and bear the consequences of the way. Meaning that the experiences we have are coming from what we have spoken. But the experiences you are going through are from your spoken word. Death and life the life you want to live, the stagnation that you are facing, the challenges you are going through can be turned and cancelled by the words from your mouth. We must not just say, oh, it's over with us. As, as long as you still have a mouth today, Shakespeare, you still have a mouth. You can change the challenge. You can speak things that will come to pass. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You know, I was asking myself a question. I was questioning myself when the Bible says in James 5, when we talk about this man called Elijah, the Bible says he had a nature like ours. If you read there, you will understand why the Bible says. I want us to read that verse. 
James chapter 5 from verse 15. 5 verse 15. Verse 18. Verse 18. Why this man was able Why to speak things that will come to pass whereas he had a nature like ours. Can you read 15, Mama? Verse 15. Why this man Why he, he had a nature, he could cry. James 5, verse 15 to 18. Jacob 5, 15 to 18. Ere. Sorry. Yes. I was reading it in Pedi. Verse 15, Ere. And the prayer of faith will save the sick. And the Lord will raise him up. And if he has com committed sin, he will be forgiven. Confess your trespass to one another. And pray for one another. That you may be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Elijah was a man with a nature like ours. And he prayed earnestly that it would not rain. And it did not rain on the land for three years and six months. Listen to this. Here we have been given a way out. The issue is not to stay in that sin. That we can still bring forth healing. And we were given an example of Elijah. We can still change what cannot be changed. I don't know if you're hearing that. Okay, the Bible says confess to each other. Pray for one another. And you will be healed. And the sin that you have committed, you will be forgiven. In other words, the solution is not outside of us. It's with us. The answer of our problem is not far, it's in our confession. But when we read about Elijah, can you read the, about Elijah, verse 17? Verse 17. Yes. Elijah was a man with a nature like ours. Nature like ours. And he prayed earnestly that it would not rain. And it did not rain on the land for three years and six months. I want to tell and you how Elijah prayed. I want to tell you. When the Bible says Elijah had a nature like ours. It means he was facing tribulation. It means he was facing tribulation. Sometimes he was also regretting. But he could not change his statement. Do you know that what Elijah did was after he spoke that day and said there will be no rain is then God speak with him. He, it's not God who send him. He went there and said, there will be no rain until my wedding. He was looking at the king's face and said, there will be no rain. I mean, according to the nature, there will be a time of rain. So what he was speaking in, on that time, it was invalid. But he said, there will be no rain until I speak my word. Until I change it. And when he moved out, God and said, Elijah, Elijah, I stand with you. Okay, because of what you said, go down there. I will feed you. And you will drink from that brook. I don't know if you hear me. Elijah went there. Elijah, he knew he was filled with the Holy Spirit. And he spoke the word. And God agreed. Elijah, the challenges that came to him. The challenges that they came to him. They might have come to make him to change. Do you know that by the time when God sent him to Zarephath. It means there was a challenge. 
when they run, the food ran short. And the water was no longer there. He might have prayed. Oh God, now Papa. I'm facing hunger. Now I'm thirsty. And God spoke. Elijah. Elia. It's you who can just bring he rain again. Listen. He, though he was facing that, he stood on the words he's talking her. Elijah could not change his statement. He said there will be no rain. I can see I'm hungry. There will be no rain. I can see there's no food. But what I have spoken, I have spoken. There will be no rain. Therefore, he offered, the, according to the Bible, he says, a fervently prayer. A fervently prayer is a hot prayer. Or, you know, you speak with anger. There is no rain. I'm not changing. I don't know if you're hearing me. Because when you speak, you are addressing things. When you speak, you are speaking to things. You might be destroying or you are planting. Can I tell you this? Today you must speak things that will come to pass. Stop this issue of changing prayer items. Stay there and speak one thing until something happens. Sometimes you say, God, you are giving me a job. You change because you see time is going. Stay there until something happens. Elijah could not change. The time when he had no food, he said, I'm not changing. I have spoken, I have spoken. And I'm staying on what I said. So when the challenge was growing up. God provides. I see God providing for you. I see God providing for you. Don't change. Don't change. There will be a time of provision. Listen. We need people who can say this month I speak my word. This month I will drive a car. And you see the the month is coming to an end. Don't change. Be a person of your way. You will see the fruits I of what you are saying. I don't know if you are hearing me. What makes us to change? We are so much on seasons. Of the earth. Yes. 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 We are so much in a nutrition. We, we know too much of the things of the world. But we don't know God's time. Even Jesus himself. He was worried and said. These people they know the season. When it wants to rain they know. But they don't know the times of God. He who knows the times of God. He won't change. You will speak until he sees what he has spoken. I am praying that today, whatever you are crying for, when you speak it in this church, it must come to pass in your life. You must see it. You must have it. You must enjoy it. You know God there, he enjoys light. He enjoyed light. He took the light. He even separated it. He took the light like this. And put it somewhere. And he bring darkness somewhere. And he said, from here to here, this is darkness. But when the sun comes here, it's a day. It's what we are enjoying today. People must enjoy what you are speaking. You must not die being a Christian who speak things and they bake fire on you. We've got many people today who speak things boldly 
But nothing happened. But can I tell you this? I see God giving you utterances. Whatever you will say, it will be said in heaven. Whatever you bound here will be bound in heaven. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Let me show you this scripture. In 1 Samuel 3, if you read from verse 19 to 21, you know this thing will really surprise you. Because you need to have God when you speak things. 1 Samuel 3, chapter 3, so Samuel grew. Can you Samuel see verse 19? Aula. Samuel grew. Aula. And the Lord was with him. Aula. And he let none of his ways fail. And all Israel from Dan to Beersheba Israel knew that Samuel Beersheba. was appointed Never as a prophet of the Lord. Samuel and the Lord continued to appear in Shiloh. More and the Lord la revealed la himself to Samuel in Shiloh by the word of the living God. More what I want us to do is verse 19. Mm -hmm. Samuel grew. In other words, Samuel grew in the Lord. And he let none of his ways in the Lord. Samuel grew when he serving God. Samuel grew when he's following God. And God himself, he was with him. He never allowed way he speaks to fall to the ground. Oh my God. Listen to this. This is a sign that God can make someone a Christian. I want to tell you how, how you can be a a prophet if God allows it. You don't become a prophet by anointing or by impartation. It, it is God's decision. It's God's, he, he himself chose some to be apostles, prophets, teachers, pastors, evangelists. The Bible says the Lord was with him. Listen, in in other words, the character you show must reveal the Lord that is with you. The lifestyle you are living. One of our problems today of our people is we are trying to get things but we don't have a character of it. Because whatever you carry, you carry it by a character. Listen to this, whatever you receive, you maintain it by the character. If you see, Samuel grew well in the house of the Lord. And the Lord was with him. Have a character that pleased the Lord. You must have the character that please God. That character will make you to speak when God permits. Listen, we need to be Christians that can speak things and the heathen will remember. So, but what is happening is we are speaking and we don't see anything. It's because the Lord is not with us. If the Lord is with us, our character will reveal. If the Lord is with you, you will be revealed by your character. The character will be like of Christ. I was reading in all scriptures about Jesus Christ. I found that the Lord never failed. He never failed. One time, they, they just... The people just came to him and said, We have been sended by, by our master. And then, you know, his servant is about to die. You know, you know the Lord just said, Turn away. He's alive. Turn away, he's alive. Look when the Lord entered and found the girl that was dead. And when everybody was laughing because of the evidence in the natural. Because sometimes 
we need to reach a level whereby we defy the natural. We speak the existence of his word and bring forth the results in the spirit. We need to reach a level where we defy what the natural brings and bring forth the results in the spirit. We are so fascinated and trapped by the natural. I see you speaking things to existence. I see you speaking results when people are struggling to get by their efforts using their power you will just speak a word and it will come to pass I say your word will come to pass how many of you believe that you can speak something today and you will see it before the end of the year if you believe shout hallelujah, hallelujah. so look when you know, you know I mean, what Jesus was speaking, wait, 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 wait. And many things happened. And you know, to extend that the Pharisees say, ah, he just cast demons by the word. He found a man sleeping there with the condition of paralysis. Do you want to be whole? In a very simple way. You know, most of the time, Jesus never shouted the way we shout. He just speak a word. Do you want to be whole? And the man said, ah, can you ask me this funny question? You know very well that they, I have to be carried there. And you ask me this stupid question. You know, you, you, if I was, he was not even expected. I was in Jerusalem last time. I was with Andres. I say, I think Jesus looked like this one. I was sure. Because when we read the scriptures, you can laugh the way he was not even expected. I'm quite sure he was very tall. But very thin. Because for him, you sometimes you could just see, see that he's tired. Always he will be sleeping. You know, during the day when you find that he's sleeping, even the time when he spoke with the winds, when the disciples say, hey, we are about to die, he just wake up and say, hey, be still. Be still. Are you listening to me? Be still. When others say, oh, we are about to die, others already they will see that they will not pay they will not pay people of mortuary. Others they will see their funeral. But uh, when they they just say, be calm. We need Christians who can speak something without fear, without doubt, and it will happen. Let me show you another scripture. In Matthew 21, verse 18 to 22. Matthew 21, verse 18 22. Where the disciples were marveled. Just go there. Ask somebody say, are you sure you will speak things that will happen? Huh? And the person say what? Well, are you sure? Alright, look at this verse 18. Verse 18. Now early in the morning as Jesus, Jesus was coming back to the city he was hungry. Seeing a lone fig tree at the roadside, he went to eat and found nothing but, but leaves on it. And he said to it, never again will fruit come from you. Look, look, at once, the fig tree withered. Here you could see Jesus understanding that Nothing happened per chance. But he knew that the tree will not die. The tree was there. He wanted to shame Jesus. But when he reached there, he said, Never. No one will eat from you again. And the Bible said, The disciples were looking. Look at this verse 20. 
When the disciples saw it, they were astonished and asked, How is it that the fig tree has withered away all at once? It's only in Matthew where the Bible didn't talk about Jesus went inside when he was coming back. Here you could see it happened same time. And the disciples were surprised when they saw it, they said, oh. at the same time it has happened. Look at verse 21. Jesus replied to them, I assure you, and most solemnly say to you, if you have faith, personal trust and confidence in me, and do not doubt or allow yourself to be drawn into two directions. You will not only do what was done to the fig tree. Look what is important. It says, but even if you say, you know, here yeah, the Bible says, even if you say, here yeah, it says, you can take desire, you can take decision to say this. Even if you say to this mountain, in other words, you are the one who's allowing this mountain to be here. Because it's no issue that you can just see the fig tree being done that way. Jesus was saying, don't be proud and make that a testimony of what I did, even you. There are some mountains you don't need. Move them by speaking a word and it will come to pass. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Look at the verse. It says, even if you say to this mountain. Can you see the verse there? Even if you say to this mountain. Okay, look at this verse 22. 22. Whatever you ask for in prayer, believing, you will receive. Whatever you speak, believing, you receive. Ah, this, this, is, this is a challenge to me all the time. I mean, whatever you, you speak, you will see it. Whatever you ask, you receive. This shows that really we can change our situation. If you believe, say amen. Just read the last scripture, maybe. Matthew 24 to 35. Matthew 24. 35. Maybe we can read the scripture we close. 24, 35. I, I, I feel I cannot tell you more this. I mean, you can use your tongue to change your situation. And listen, sometimes this situation will show you he doesn't want to change. But you carry on speaking, speaking until something happens. Let's be Christians who does not change on what we say. Just read that verse, Mama. Verse 35. Matthew 24. 24. Heaven and earth will pass away. Yes. But my words will by no means pass away. Can you just hear Jesus was like proud. Yeah, Jesus was, was like so proud here. And then already he demonstrated it by the signs and wonders. I say, he was like saying, you know what? I speak things. And some people, they don't know me. He was like saying that. I just speak, but they don't know me. But you know what? This heaven and earth can even pass away, but my words will come to pass. Can you just reach a level where you, you speak knowing that God is, is speaking with you? Or speaking through you? Heaven and earth will pass, but my ways. I think about it. I come here and I tell you. For example, can I tell you something? I said, okay, it's going to rain stones. Here. 
and I know it has not rained. And then people look at me and say, ah. And I say, you know what? This heaven and earth will pass. But my ways, you will see it. It's as good as, you know, you reach a point where you say, whatever I say, you will see it. I will show you. Here Jesus will say, I will really show you that when I speak, it happens. I don't know if you are hearing that. Let's reach a level where when we speak, we know, we believe that we are not just speaking. Do you know that Paul told uh, Timothy that Timothy, you must get out from this bubbling story. Talking, talking things. Jesting. I mean, things that does not bring God inside. Things that does not bring the presence of God. You speak, you create, you speak. I found that what can make us to speak is when we know the pain of prayer. You know the pain of prayer. If you know the pain of prayer, where you pray, but you find now the words cannot come out. You understand that in future you cannot just waste your ways. I don't know if you're hearing me. I, I'm just praying that from today. We understand the weapon we have. We need to speak things with the weapon. 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 We need to speak whatever you need. You speak it. People laugh at you. People question you. But one day you will enjoy it. I don't know if you are hearing me. Just as I say, hey, I want to speak something. And I want the world to know that it has come to pass. Are you ready for that?